the two possibilities for intrusion of uh, salt water in the combustion chamber in a typical diesel engine. The possibility number one is during the cranking. Uh, this is a typical marine diesel engine. Uh, this is the, the heat exchanger on top. This is the exhaust manifold in the bottom. They are monolithic in the same structure. However, internally they are separated. They have a piece of metal. And uh, the gases here outside coming from the exhaust manifold collect here in this manifold and goes out through the exhaust pipe. Is clear? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, on top, I have uh, the element of the heat exchanger. And here on top, I have uh, uh, the expansion tank. I put the, here the radiator cap. And this is the expansion tank. And this is the heat exchanger. All right. The heat exchanger works with raw water. The raw water is coming from the raw water pump. The raw water enters in the pipe, and the raw water goes here, enters over there, and goes out and bye-bye. All right, what happened during the cranking? If the engine no start immediately, I crank, 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 and the raw water pump send raw water here, and the raw water pass over there, and the raw water enter here, and I have raw water here during the cranking. If the engine no start immediately, what happens if in one of those cylinders the exhaust valve is a little open, don't close? What happens in the moment that that piston is going down? Water. Suction, water, and enter water in the combustion chamber. What happens some seconds later when the engine starts? In the moment of the explosion, that water produces double expansion of the aluminum in the piston it, with respect to the uh, uh, steel on the liners and produce hydro lock and the engine lock. 